TikTok. <laughs> you scared me. Oh my God, what are you doing in my room? Entire nation of Poland. Listen, I had no idea that pronouncing a couple Polish words was going to get so many Poles' attention. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for all the comments and support um, and all the Polish language tips. It's really, really sweet. I am shocked and it means a lot. I also didn't really think anybody was going to watch these videos. <laughs> so I am scared of you guys, respectfully. But that's appropriate because this week is Halloween. So thank you everybody for getting me into the spirit of things. This is just gonna be a little vlog of like a fall week in my life in Warsaw. Nothing super exciting, but I'm gonna practice a little Polish. We're having a Halloween party this week. So if you're interested, then uh, hold me. <laughs> Somebody at one of the preschools I work at got COVID. So we're doing an online lesson today with a bunch of six-year-olds. I'm gonna mute them again. Unless you guys can help me out. Do you think that you can help me? Okay. So I want you guys to think, does this pumpkin look happy or sad? Happy, very good. On my way to preschool number two. day in the month of October has involved teaching at one preschool in the morning, commuting to the next, and then coming home to teach adults online. So I'm honestly exhausted a lot of the time, but we can talk more about that later. Things for November are looking up, and so I'm really excited to see more of Warsaw and hopefully other places in Poland. I've started taking Spanish lessons online with my friend twice a week because he needed practice teaching adults, and I really, really love romance languages. No offense, Polish, still love you. I'm obviously still gonna be working on my Polish because I live here, but I'm gonna start taking a less, I guess, academic approach. I don't know if you would have called my previous approach academic, but we're going even less academic than that now. I started taking notes of phrases that my kids repeat at the preschool every day and like making my guesses of what I think they mean based on context clues, and then I come home and I figure out what they actually mean. Let me just show you what I've been picking up on the past week. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to do a Polish language learning update in this video. Um, I'll do some friggin' later. I don't know. I don't want to do it right now. Sorry. <laughs> It takes a lot of effort to sit down and try to learn a new language, let alone to film it and then go through and edit out all of your ums and your silences because you're just staring at it trying to make it make sense. Again, I'll have a language learning update in the very near future. I just have been staring at clips from this vlog that I've been trying to put together for the past two weeks and I just want to be done with it because I honestly hate it. So instead of some more language learning, here are some of my thoughts. You can listen to them or you can not listen to them. <laughs> um, Enjoy the rest of the video or enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever it is, if you're clicking off of it. Goodbye. Tess, um, my laundry could not be more loud right now, so sorry. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup, getting ready to film a part of this video, which th it's Monday night right now. I was trying to have this video uploaded by Monday. I've been trying to work on it all week because in a perfect world, I would have a video uploaded every week, but to be honest, between like having an actual job and trying to throw a Halloween party this week and like be social and have some semblance of a life, but <laughs> I hope you can even hear me. 
I'm gonna mention it a bit later in this video, but my work schedule has just been an absolute nightmare since I've been here. It's kind of just made it impossible to get settled in any real way. I feel like I haven't stopped running around and just trying to catch my breath since I've been here. And this week was no exception to that. And my whole goal with making these videos was that I know that I really enjoy editing and scripting. I think it's just fun and it's something that I want to practice and get good at. And I sure thought that I was going to have some time to get good at it before 20,000 of you started following me. Come on, you guys, calm down, okay? But also, it's very cool that you're following me. I just thought I would take this moment to kind of lower our expectations. <laughs> Ultimately, I really want to make like travel content and that'll be, that'll include me going around Warsaw, around Poland and to other countries as well. So I'm not just gonna be like waving the Polish flag in every video, which I know is like terrible news for a lot of you. <laughs> but I am in Poland and I like, I'm excited to be in Poland. I just haven't had the time to actually be excited about it. So I just wanna say hey. And I just wanted to establish that I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna do my best. I'm not gonna be speaking Polish all the time. I am going to be speaking Polish, but that's not like the main goal of my channel. And until I can catch my breath, there's not gonna be a whole lot of consistency. Like in the future, I would really love to be posting one video a week because that means that I'm, I'm doing things that I think are worth making videos about and I'm taking the time to edit and I'm probably learning a lot along the way, which is really exciting, but um, we're just not there yet because I've been here for two months and I still don't even know what my work schedule is. It's been changing all the time and everything is just so exhausting. So if you're watching these, thanks. I really appreciate it and I'm glad that you're here. Um, I just think it's worth acknowledging that this channel is gonna be a mess for a while, but if you're cool with that, feel free to stay on board. We can hang out. I don't know if I even said anything helpful or important in this, but I'm just stressed out. So I felt like I should say something. So with that, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Bye. Dzień dobry, jest piątek. And listen, I was thinking, maybe you wanna go get a coffee and sit in the park with me before I have to go to work. Okay, let's go. Fell in love with her. Not so good. Can't live without her. Like, she's the perfect right Pretty. Nice. I hit that lady with my best poprosha, but I still said chai latte, so she spoke to me in English right away. Got a good chai latte, though. Emma. You might ask me. You're sitting alone on a park bench talking to your phone. Aren't you kind of lonely in this foreign city? You know, excellent question, I'm glad you asked, but my answer is no. I've actually been too busy to be lonely. That and if I ever need a hug, I just get it from the preschoolers. Really though, I've been in Warsaw for almost just over two months. I feel like I really haven't gotten to experience this place yet. Like I've met a lot of really awesome people. Honestly, I've been super lucky and I've gotten to go out a little bit and everything like that, but there's so much of Warsaw that I still don't know about and just haven't gotten the chance to see because I'm just working all the time. I gotta work so I can have a visa, but I didn't really come here to work, you know? My work situation is about to change pretty dramatically starting November. I'm gonna have a much more consistent, low-key schedule, so I'm going to be taking advantage of that and spending a lot more time out in Warsaw trying to experience this place and the culture. Definitely practicing my Polish because, girl, it needs so much work. So I'm really excited about that, but speaking of work, I'm running late, we gotta go.